Marriage is not mandatory. Marriage is not compulsory. Marriage is not the next thing after graduation, university graduation. Marriage is not the next thing after you get employment or you get a good job. Marriage is not mandatory. Keep that in mind. Let's go to the scripture and see why I'm saying this because most times people misinterpret scripture and people, most people perish because they don't go back into the world to read it for themselves, to be able to understand. I am married. I'm not against marriage. So just, me, you know, don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is most people have put marriage on their list and everything, everything is about marriage. Only if I can get a man to marry me, only if I can get someone to put a ring on because and they feel shy when they get to a certain age and they are not married. And so they are being forced into marrying people they don't know. There's blind dates, there's, there's arranged marriages. It's good if it's your culture and if you are ready for marriage and you understand that marriage is not compulsory but yet you know that you have to or you want to marry. That is a different thing between you not knowing that is not compulsory because most people think it's the next thing after you graduate university the next thing would be, your parents will be asking you so when do you get married when do I see the woman when do I see the man in your life you know they keep asking you this question come from a background where these things are impressed on us so much so that as a lady if you get to a certain age and they don't see a man in your life or a ring on your finger People start calling you names. People think you are good for nothing or no one loves you or you are cursed or there's a spiritual marriage going on. People force themselves into so many unnecessary frustrations by marrying the wrong people because of pressure. Because of pressure and because of remarks that they want to avoid from people. But I want you to know that you know the scriptures for yourself. Don't let anybody's word or remarks or attitude push you into marriage because most people are being pushed into marriage and the same way they are pushed into marriage they are what exacting marriages and there are so many so many marriages breaking and that is breaking my heart really especially marriages within christian or among christians within the kingdom of god christians marriages are breaking here and there and i believe it's all because of lack of knowledge marriage is not mandatory you are whole as you are it's only Christ who makes you whole. You don't need a man or a woman to make you whole. You are not half. You are not half. You are whole as you are. So let's go into scripture. Corinthians chapter 7. Okay. And I'm reading from verse 1. So verse 1 it says, Now regarding the questions you asked in your letter. There have been some questions from the church that Paul wants to address. Okay. And Paul is answering the question and saying yes. It is good to live a celibate life, which makes us assume or makes it clear without a shadow of doubt that the question that they asked was whether it was good for someone to remain a celibate, which means unmarried for life, unmarried. We wanted to find out if it was right for a Christian or a church someone who believes in God was their believers for a believer to remain a celibate and Paul is going straight on answering the question and saying yes it is good to live a celibate life but wait but because there is so much so much sexual immorality each man should have his own wife and each woman should have her own husband <laughs> 